This is what I expect when I sit down to work. This is usually what it ends up looking like. In a world with more and more distractions at our fingertips, I feel like my ability to focus is getting worse and worse. This week though, I'm finally doing something about it, thanks to Dr. Andrew Huberman and all of the science-based tools for everyday life that he's been sharing. So what tools are there for focus? This week, I'm going through and trying them all to answer the million dollar question at the end of whether all of this helps improve my focus. I scrolled around on my phone for over half an hour this morning before I finally sat down here and got started, which I feel like is frequently the problem. All of the scrolling kind of makes me feel foggy and all over the place mentally. I do have to focus and finish editing a video though, so this morning I'm going to try a meditation and 40 hertz binaural beats before I start working. So the meditation is a short one, about 13 minutes, and it can be done sitting or lying down. I personally use an app for meditating, but there's a lot of free resources online too. You would simply focus on your breathing. Ideally, you would do just nasal breathing for a period of 13 minutes, concentrating on that breathing. So next up is 40 Hertz binaural beats, which you can download an app for, but honestly, if you just look up 40 Hertz binaural beats on YouTube, there's a lot of options. Dr. Huberman uses it for five minutes before doing focus work and then turns it off to actually do the work, so I'll try that too. I don't recall if he mentioned what he does while listening to binaural beats, but I feel like it's probably not looking at a screen, so I'm gonna look outside. 40 Hertz binaural beats have been shown to increase focus and concentration. One last thing before I get to work though, coffee. So putting my phone aside to meditate and to look outside the window did make me feel clearer mentally compared to doom scrolling on Instagram, but I feel like that's probably not a surprise. I actually meditate already, although not super consistently, but I've never tried doing it for the purpose of focusing on something afterwards, so I'm pretty curious to see what kind of effect they'll have on me. As for how long to focus, whether you're working or learning or doing a physical activity, the ideal duration is about 90 minutes. Okay, some quick initial thoughts. I do feel like I was less fidgety than I usually am when I was doing what I was doing just now, which is the final edit of a video before exporting. Usually I get distracted pretty easily doing that because by that point, I've looked at the video so many times, it's just not that interesting of a task. But today I did feel like my attention span seemed better. Pretty interesting so far. So I'm gonna make lunch and keep going. So I finished up for the day. I was planning to try to work in 90 minute cycles in the afternoon, but I kind of lost track of time and ended up working up until dinner time without taking a break. I feel like my focus was pretty decent in the first half of the afternoon, but not so much the second half. I looked at my phone a lot more and when my mind wandered off, I did have a harder time sort of getting back on track and refocusing. Anyways, I'm excited to try again tomorrow, but using different tools. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. I decide to start the day with some sun exposure and exercise by going on a run outside. So we're back now and first up is a cold shower. And in case you're wondering, is this really necessary? Hear me out. So the function of cold exposure, whether that's via cold showers or ice baths or whatever, is to create stress. Stress itself can increase our ability to focus and concentrate. Cold exposure is just one more straightforward way to create this kind of stress, but of course there's other ways. As for how cold and how long, cold enough that you want to get out and between one to five minutes long. I don't know why I thought it'd be fun to try to do this part while taking a cold shower. I'm going to skip meditation today, and instead of binaural beats, I'm going to try out white noise before working. White noise is supposed to help you transition into concentrating, so I'm going to do what I did yesterday and listen to it for 5 minutes. So that was my first time ever trying white noise, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. The sound reminded me of the sound an airplane makes when it's flying overhead, but it was just 
continuous, and that's not really a noise I like all that much, but I guess let's see if it works. Another thing I'm going to do differently today is taking the time to deliberately defocus for at least 10 minutes in between work cycles. You really want to focus on somewhat menial tasks or things that really don't require a ton of your concentration. Try not to bring your vision into a tight location such as your phone. So I'm wrapping up for the day, and I think my biggest takeaway today was that deliberately defocusing really helped me concentrate again afterwards. It also made me realize that once I took my phone out of the equation, it was just so much easier. What I mean is that a lot of the times I do want to do some chores when I take a break, but then I want to watch or listen to something when I'm doing the chores. So then I start scrolling so I can find something to watch or listen to, and then I just keep scrolling and then I just get completely distracted and derailed mentally. We do have more new stuff coming tomorrow though, so stay tuned. It's day three. I'm out right now, but on the way home to try something new to help with my focus today. It's supposed to be good if you're sleep deprived, which is perfect because I did not sleep enough last night and my sleep was also pretty poor. I'm going to be trying NSDR, which stands for non-sleep deep rest, and is also called yoga nidra. Basically, you lie down for 10 to 30 minutes and listen to an audio script that guides you through relaxation. I'm going to do a 12 minute one that I found on YouTube from Rosalie Yoga, and let's see how it goes. I'm Rosalie and welcome to this short NSDR meditation. That's non-sleep deep rest, also known as yoga nidra. Thought it was pretty nice actually. So now I'm going to try listening to pink noise for five minutes before I get to work, which is also something that's new to me. Okay, day three done. I actually really enjoyed NSDR, even though I wasn't sure at first if I was doing it correctly, but I think I was trying too hard to focus on the audio script in the beginning when the point of NSDR is to defocus. As for the pink noise, I feel like the use case might be better if I were, say, working in a loud place and I needed something to drown out that noise, but I honestly really was not a fan of it using it in a quiet room. All in all, I thought my focus was pretty decent today considering I only really slept for a few hours last night. Definitely looking forward to more sleep tonight, so I'll see you in the morning. I'm starting day four with a coffee and a workout, which is one of my favorite ways to start the day. I was already feeling pretty alert this morning, so I decided to only have a cold shower before sitting down to work. So I'm on my way home now. And I just realized earlier that these focus tools might be helping me in a way I didn't expect, but I want to wait and do this whole week first to see. So it's day five now, and today I want to go back and try NSDR and white noise. I'm not sleep deprived, but after trying NSDR for the first time on day three, I am pretty curious about it. And Dr. Huberman says he actually does it every day regardless of whether he's sleep deprived or not. Lie down and find your most comfortable position. Use any props you might need to feel warm and cozy. I'm going to give white noise another try now, and then I'm headed off to a different kind of focus activity today, a figure drawing class. I can't really film in class since we use live models who don't wear clothing, but I was really interested to see if these focus tools would help because the class is three hours long with no break. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go out, but I just want to say one thing real quick. The NSDR and the white noise actually really did help with my focus in my figure drawing class today. Usually I get really restless and I check my phone a lot starting at around the 90 minute mark, but today I didn't feel myself getting restless until the last half hour of the class, which is a huge improvement. Anyways, I gotta run, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I definitely kind of feel like trash, if I'm gonna be honest, because we went to bed at 5 a.m., which is something we almost never do now, so I am definitely not feeling it today. But on the bright side, it is a great chance to use these focus tools. <coughs> <coughs> so just for fun, today I'm going to do everything I've done this week so far, but in one day. Starting off with some NSDR to make up for last night's sleep. So 
So we're finally on day seven. Layering all of the tools I've been doing all week yesterday was fun, but definitely not very efficient time-wise. So today, I think I'm just gonna do NSDR and meditation back to back because I quite liked that when I did it yesterday. I do have to say though, even though it was obviously a bit overkill, layering all the focus tools yesterday did definitely help me sit down and concentrate on basically anything because I really felt like crap. It didn't quite get rid of that dull headache that I get when I sleep too little and too late, but I did manage to get quite a lot done, more than I originally expected. We'll begin by taking in two sips of air through the nose. Okay, so takeaways. I really, really liked NSDR and that's something I definitely think I'll keep in my usual routine. I also really liked deliberately defocusing. I feel like even if you can't work in 90 minute cycles due to the nature of your work, if you can just take that deliberate defocus break for even 10 minutes whenever you can, it's already really helpful. I thought that binaural beats or white noise, pink noise, brown noise, whatever, was really convenient as a tool if you're short on time. I still feel like I liked binaural beats best, but then again, it's only been a week, so I'll probably still keep trying them all. As for cold showers, I honestly feel like I'll only do them if I already need to shower, like if I just finished working out. And finally, meditation, which I already know I like, and I was reminded this past week of how clear it makes me feel mentally I just need to be more consistent about it. Now, the million dollar question of whether all of this actually helped improve my focus. The answer is yes, but one of the reasons why was not what I was expecting. Of course, all of these tools that Dr. Huberman recommends are backed by science, and I didn't think at any point that they wouldn't impact my focus and concentration, at least at a mechanistic level, in the way that he describes. However, the thing that I didn't expect was that getting into the routine of using these focus tools before I sat down to work unintentionally got rid of that state that I often find myself in beforehand where I'm procrastinating and I'm scrolling around on my phone and then I just end up really distracted and mentally all over the place before I actually do my work. Instead, focusing on using these focus tools before I sat down to work made me feel like I had accomplished something already and sort of primed me mentally to get into a state where I wanted to work, if that makes sense. I wouldn't even feel like going on social media or scrolling on my phone to do anything, I just kind of wanted to get to work. It's basically akin to the kind of concept of starting your day with a small win. And just a few things to wrap this up, which I didn't mention earlier, but I think are worth mentioning. First is that regardless of all these tools, it's still really important to get as much good quality sleep as you can because there is no tool that can overcome chronic sleep deprivation. And finally, in case you're wondering, aren't there also supplements for focus? There are, but Dr. Huberman believes that you should always focus on behavioral tools before going to supplements. Hopefully some of you found this video helpful, and if you like this video, check out this video in which we try out Dr. Huberman's morning routine. Catch you guys in the next one!